Okay guys, welcome to this um, interesting script that I found the other day. Uh, it's kind of free answer to Rayfire. Um, Rayfire, for those of you who don't know, is a massively expensive plugin that is used in Hollywood and all sorts of things to fracture objects um, in 3D Studio Max. Um, and it creates things like this, but you know, on a, on a higher scale, this took me like five minutes to create. So. Um, but now in 3D Studio Max, because we've not got Reactor, we've got Mass Effects, and there's not a whole lot of stuff on Mass Effects. Um, I just thought I'd go over a quick, um, small tutorial, um, and incorporate it with this script that I found. So, if you want to jump on the internet and, uh, well, you are on the internet, that's you want to be watching this, but you want to go into scriptspot.com, go to 3D Max and go to scripts, and just type in Fracture, and you'll get this lovely script come up here um, there is a few others uh, I'm just gonna go over this one for now because this one's pretty you know it's pretty nice um, this I might try later on but never mind um, yeah so what it does is it fractures objects into many 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 parts and we can see this here and this is just a wall with no segments no nothing it's just a box and I've just done a fracture on it. Now when you get the script, you can you can load it up via run script and then fracture Veroni. And if you just double click that, it'll come up here and here's your thing. Um I've loaded it into a little button here, so it's it's a bit easier for me. So we're gonna create this. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, so it's a nice ball. It goes in, douche, and then the ball reacts. And believe it or not, this is very simple to do in Mass Effects. So I'm gonna reset the scene. I'm going to go build our wall and just go this big, this big, this will do. And first thing I'm going to do is load up the fracture script. So I'm going to go max script run and then what you've just downloaded, double click, and you'll get this lovely bit of, you know, stuff going on. And it's quite interesting that they've wrote the script and they've thought about every little thing. For now, we're not going to go into material ideas and, and things like that. We're just going to go into the breaking. So say pick object and pick our wall. And then we're going to say number of parts. Uh, in all intents and purposes, um, to make this quicker, we're going to say um, 100 parts and then break into 100. So it'll take a little bit of time to calculate depending on your computer. Um, but it'll calculate it quite well and there you go you've got that now if you was to do this using spline planes and pro boolean or pro cutter or something it would take you quite a long time so there we go we've got a nice wall now we're going to go in you got to plan out your what you want to happen to the wall first so if I want a ball to hit it um, where the ball hits it's going to be smaller, uh, smaller fragments so I'm going to go pick object and pick this fragment here Okay, and then I'm going to break this, not into 100, I'm going to break it into 30 pieces. So I'm going to say break. Okay, there we go. And we're just going to do this around the whole area by picking and breaking bits. Now this is quite a lengthy process, uh, but after all it is a free script and it's very, very good script to have. Um, with tools like Rayfire, um, you can you know select your geometry and break and it'll break very small parts and very big parts um, depending on what type of break that you select as I say it does cost a lot of money and is used in professional development um, if you are a developing company you know and you can afford <coughs> things like Rayfire then yeah I certainly agree there is a lot of th other things if you're using Maya and um, there's one called pull down it um, so yeah Okay, so round about finished. I'm gonna say I'm gonna have a little bit more detail by breaking up, um, breaking up smaller parts into thirty as well, like these parts break into thirty. And um, to save time for this, I wouldn't I wouldn't usually do this because it's processing power. I I would usually add a particle system to this event, um, and shape instance some particles but it doesn't matter right okay so once we've finished breaking things and we've got a nice wall going on there I'm gonna close this script and this is where the fun part of Mass Effect starts 
Now, Mass Effect works on a basis um, like Reactor, but it's a lot simpler, and the physics is calculated much better. Um, it's NVIDIA physics. So, just to show you what things do in Mass Effect, um, you can watch one of my tutorials, um, which I'm going to upload with this one, which is a beginner tutorial of Mass Effect, to see what things do. Um, but for now, we're just going to do this okay so we've got wireframe mode we're going to create a sphere I'm going to create it on the point of impact I'm going to put the sphere down a little bit I don't want too many polys in this sphere it's just there for collision okay okay we're going to go and move this over here so now that should line up with the uh, multiple small parts of the wall Okay, what I'm going to do is stick auto frame on, auto key, and then go to frame 5, and I'm going to put it over here. Turn auto key off, so now I should have this thing going on, which is great. And just take note of the key before the ball hits the wall, and it's key 2. Okay. Okay, I might want to blast these out, key 7. Actually, no, we'll do that. I'll do. Okay, key three, just before it hits the wall. Okay, we'll keep a keep note of that frame just before it hits the wall. What key it is? Okay. Um, now Mass Effects. Um, you click on a blank bit. Put your toolbar on. Mine's up here. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to select the whole wall, and I'm going to go to my modifier list and go Mass Effects, rigid body. Um, I have got it in a button here, so we'll just hit that. And what it'll do is it'll put, it'll uh, calculate all of these meshes for each individual piece. Uh, meshes. Watch the previous video to see what these collision meshes are. Um, so I'm going to say, okay, this is dynamic. We'll leave it at dynamic. Um, and we want the mesh type. And make sure you've got them all selected. Uh, we want original. Original will do for now. And we want to start in sleep mode. Okay. Um, we'll, we'll load up a preset as well as concrete and that'll do us okay now the ball again we want this to be included in the simulation so we're going to put a mass effects modifier on top of that and because this is animated we want to make it kinematic okay and we want to and we want it to be kinematic and not be affected by any physics really uh, any reaction until frame three so we go until frame and then three and what happens is after frame three it turns into dynamic and it starts to react with other things um, and we're going to put a preset we're going to set steel for this ball uh, and that is really about it so when we simulate which is the play button boom we've got a nice thing going on there now, I don't know where the ball's gone it's probably done one somewhere so I'm only in my scene yet, there it is. So we can keep an eye on what the ball actually did. It rolled off. Because it's steel, it's quite heavy. Um, we're happy with that. It's got quite a lot of velocity because I've done six frames. Um, so once we're happy with that simulation. Douche. That's nice. We like it. R leave it to run out to 100 frames. And then we're going to hit this button here, which is the uh, Mass Effect Tools dialog. I'm going to go to um, it's tools. I'm going to bake all. And what that'll do is it'll keyframe every little piece of geometry in your scene for whatever um, amount of frames that you've got in your timeline. And the point for this is we don't need Mass Effects modifiers on these now, so we can delete these. And we'll go to this and we'll delete the modifier as well. So now when we scrub the timeline, boom. You should get a much faster animation and you know it's broken into lots of bits and then we can feel free to stick a texture on everything uh, maybe a different texture for the ball actually okay there we go and there is our simulation quite simple quite effective and uh, you know very cool so yeah, have a try of that. Um, if you are not sure about Mass Effects, then I am uploading uh, a pre
prerequisite video I'm um, just showing you the differences from dynamic meshes and things like that so yep um, by all means post any stuff as a video reply and I'll activate it and I'd like to see you know what people come up with because it's it's quite an exciting thing to mess with so thanks very much